How you doing today? Welcome to Moe's Math. Today we're going to put this cut line on this 90 with three easy steps, no math. Because our job is to cut this 90 in half to get two 45s. We will put four marks on there, starting with the sides first. The elbow needs to be on a flat surface. In this case, it's on a piece of, piece of plate. We need to find something half the height of the elbow. As you can see, the dimension arrow there. So, in this case, we mean from the face of the 90 to the back of the 90. This is a 3 inch long radius butt weld 90. So what would it be? A 3 inch 90 to take off equals 4.5 to the center line. 3 inch pipe OD is 3.5 inches. So the height of the elbow would be 1 take off 4.5 inches plus half the pipe diameter at 1 and 3 quarters. So this would be 190 takeoff plus half a pipe diameter giving you a dimension of six and a quarter. So we need something roughly about three and an eighth. So you need to improvise a little bit. In this case we're using two pocket levels and we lay them on a table. They're parallel to the table and we mark the top. This would be half the height of the elbow. We can also also use a pocket level and a stick roll. Could this be half the height of the elbow? How about one pocket level and open the stick roll up? Okay, so you need to improvise a little bit. This would be half the height of the elbow. With one mark on there, flip the 90. All three different examples would probably be okay, as you'll see as we go along. Flip over to 90, repeat the steps. Put your two levels there, mark the top. No math. should look like this. It should be a top dead center, abbreviated TDC. It will still work if not perfect. As you can see this marks a little bit off that center line arc. The TDC would be the center line radius. The center line radius is drawn from the vertex of the fitting. The vertex is a point where two lines meet. So if we come off the two faces, they'll meet at that black ball. That's the vertex of the fitting. That mark is on a 45. All three marks are on a 45. But the one that's on the top dead center is the one we want, want to use. The other two would be okay. The closer to, to the top dead center, the better. The smaller 90s, it's easier to find something that works for the sides. Let's make this a 10 inch 90 now. 10 inch long radius butt weld 90. 10 inch 90 equals 15. The OD is 10 and 3 quarters. So 15 for the takeoff. 5 and 3 eighths for half the OD. This would be 190 takeoff plus 1 half pipe diameter giving you 1 foot 8 and 3 eighths. Your block would have to be roughly 10 and a quarter inches. We can measure to the mark at ten and a quarter instead of using a block. 
I'll show you how. We know the radius is one foot three. We know we're looking for a 45 with a 45 degree angle. The yellow line would be the offset. And we're going to solve for that. One foot three is the travel. The yellow line, we don't know. Let's get the right number to put us right at top dead center. Let's calculate it. The keystroke pattern using the Pipe Trades Pro is as follows. Let's get out our Pipe Trades Pro. Let's put in one foot three inch as the travel, 45 as the angle slope. We we'll press the offset and it gives us 10 and 5 eighths. That's the true number to put that mark right at the top dead center of that fitting. So measure up 10 and 5 eighths, put a mark. There you can see we got a stick rule out. We're going to mark 10 and 5 eighths. We'll put a mark. Let's extend that line on top of a level and that mark is going to be at top dead center. Flip to 90 and measure up 10 and 5 eighths and mark the other side. Repeat the same procedure of course on the opposite side. Those marks are spot on. They're right at top dead center and they're on a 45. So now we're going to get the inside arc. Some tools we could use to do that are adding machine paper, soft tape measure, 50 foot tape, a grooving tape, but we're going to use the paper. We're going to cut a piece longer than the inside arc. We're going to put the paper at the face of the bevel and mark the other face of the bevel. Should have one perpendicular corner on the paper, square it off. Here's your adding machine paper with the inside arc. I would cut off the SS, cut it square. Then you're going to fold that paper, fold it in half. So when you fold that paper, that represents half of the inside arc. Fold the paper in half. Lay the paper in the throat and mark the end. No math. If using tape measure, get the inside arc and cut in half. Now we're going to get the back arc. We're going to use the paper again, cut a piece longer than the back arc. Put paper a face of bevel and mark the other face of the bevel. There's your adding machine paper with the outside arc. Fold it in half, and that's half of the outside arc. Pretty easy, no math. Lay the paper on the back arc and mark the end. Now we're going to connect the dots with the back arc first. I like to use a bandsaw blade or a piece of band iron. There's your, there's your bandsaw blade. Squeeze together with fingers here. 
Notice the position of blade points to the vertex of their fitting. Mark the whole back half and a little past the halfway point. Now the inside arc. Trace half of the pipe and blend in with the other line. Squeeze together with fingers here. When the two halves are connected, they should look they should not look like this. They should that's not that's not acceptable. When the two halves are connected, they should look like this, a straight line. Proceed with the hacksaw cut. The torch should be pointing to the line on the opposite side. When the two halves are cut, put a square in there and they should look like this. Great job and be safe and we'll talk to you soon. There's more of this to come.